Hi YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to get the KDE version of Manjaro on a USB drive. Upgrade the SSD in my Lenovo ThinkPad X13 AMD laptop. Install the KDE version of Manjaro and test the performance and see how well Manjaro works out of the box on an AMD laptop. To get Manjaro on a USB drive, go to the Manjaro webpage and download the X64 ISO. You can select other desktop environments other than KDE if you prefer. And to get the ISO into a USB drive, follow the link on the page before downloading the ISO which directs you to download Rufus. I'll provide a link to download Manjaro below. Once you have finished downloading Rufus and the Manjaro ISO, insert your USB drive into a USB port on your laptop or desktop, run Rufus, click select, go to the location where the ISO is stored and click OK. Make sure the proper drive is selected and click start. This should take a few minutes and if successful you will see ready at the bottom. Click close and this will exit you out of Rufus. If your laptop is on, go ahead and power it off so that you can replace the SSD. To get to the SSD, remove the five screws holding the bottom cover on. Pull the cover up from the back of the laptop and then pull the cover towards the back of the laptop to remove the cover. Next, remove the screw holding the SSD and its bracket down. Remove the bracket and gently pull the SSD away from the socket at a slight angle. Install the new SSD without the old bracket and secure the SSD in place with the screw. Put the bottom cover back on by sliding the front of the cover into the laptop rim and once aligned, push the cover into place and tighten the five screws back into place. Turn the laptop on and repetitively press F1 until the laptop enters the BIOS. Click on the security tab and turn off secure boot. Click the restart tab and click exit saving changes and click yes. After the laptop reboots, repetitively press the F12 button until the boot menu appears. and select the USB drive that you put Manjaro on. In this case, mine had a USB HDD prefix to it. Next, you should see the Manjaro boot screen, and Boot Manjaro should already be highlighted. If so, hit Enter and it will boot into Manjaro Live Boot. If not, scroll to Boot Manjaro and hit Enter. Once Manjaro has finished booting, double click on install Manjaro Linux. Apologies for the USB audio headphone pop up, but I was having issues with my Dell dock charging the X13 that you'll see in a little bit. Select your language, click next, select the time zone, select your keyboard layout, then erase disk. Type in your name, computer name, set your username and password whether if you want Linux to automatically log in, and optionally a different admin password. And select if you would like to install OpenOffice, LibreOffice, or no Office Productivity Utilities. Confirm installation settings and allow Manjaro to finish installing.
I installed the VA utils so that I could run VA info to see if hardware decoding works. As you can see, Video Hardware Acceleration is enabled and there's a VA Entry Point VLD displayed for all codecs. Next, let's install Google Chrome to check if Video Hardware Acceleration works in Chrome. To do this, you'll have to enable AUR and Add Remove software, which I forgot to film. This allows Manjaro to build software packages that aren't officially in the normal repository. After AUR has been enabled, search for Google Chrome, click Build, then Apply, and it will build Chrome for Manjaro. And with video editing magic, Google Chrome is installed seconds later. Let's test the performance of the AMD GPU on the X13 by running GLX Gears that is already installed on Manjaro. Make sure to type export vblank underscore mode equals zero in the command line before running GLX gears so that it doesn't sync with the display and report the maximum frame rate possible. Results for GLX gears range anywhere between 7423 frames per second and 12554 frames per second, averaging 9690 frames per second. Let's also try GLMark2 by installing the GLMark2-git package in add remove software. Running GLMark2 over 3 runs yields an average score of 4900. Now let's see if Video Hardware Acceleration works in Chrome. To do this, we'll run top in the background and check Chrome to see if Hardware Acceleration is enabled by default. If not, enable it. As you can see, under the Chrome GP page, Video Decode shows is unavailable and Vulkan and Out of Process Rasterization are disabled. To enable this, go to the Chrome Flags page and enable Override Software Rendering List. Enable Vulkan and enable GPU Rasterization. Once these three items have been enabled, click Relaunch on the bottom right and go to the Chrome GPU page and check to see that everything is now enabled. I loaded a video through YouTube, set it to full screen, and alt tab so that the terminal window running top was overlaid on top of the video. Unfortunately, the CPU usage was between 300% and 700%, indicating that the video is being software encoded. As you can see, the decoder name shows up as VPX Video Decoder, which means that there is no hardware acceleration for video. The AMD processors definitely perform way better than Intel Core i7 processors out of the box, but this is still not ideal since it can slow down your laptop when multitasking and reduce battery life. Let's see if sound works, and as you can see it does.
Also, as you can see, hotkey functionality works for the most part, with the exception of the F9 to F12 keys, which honestly just need to have a program map to it. The touchpad and track point both work out of the box. One outstanding issue I've noticed is suspend and hibernate doesn't work out of the box. It looks like there's some information on how to fix this, and I'll be applying these fixes to see if the problem ends up being fixed. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching the video, and this helps you with upgrading the SSD on your laptop and installing Manjaro on your laptop. Comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. See you guys next time.